This will be the last year that our city will host the professional bull riders world finals. The fan favorite has been held here for nearly three decades and every year it brings in millions of dollars for our local economy. 13 Action News anchor Ross DiMattei sat down with the CEO to better understand why the event's future is in Fort Worth, Texas. Ross. Yeah, guys, it was a fascinating conversation. Now, because of the pandemic, last year was the first time since this event began that it was not held here in Las Vegas. The CEO telling me today that that trip to Texas in 2020 was a big factor in moving the event there, even more so than money. I truly hope everyone appreciates what they are getting to watch. It was a tough decision for sure, but we have some long ranging plans. For 28 years, the PBR World Finals has been held in Las Vegas. But starting in 2022, PBR is packing up their spurs and saddles and taking their talents to Texas. Fort Worth is undergoing a renaissance of sorts, and it's a cowboy renaissance that make it the epicenter of the cowboy values, culture, and uh, Western lifestyle. PBR CEO Sean Gleason admits they wouldn't have made this move if it weren't for COVID-19, forcing them to host the event at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas in 2020. It did open our eyes to a world finals in Texas. It opened up conversations with the state, the city of Fort Worth and others. Um, and it ultimately uh, opened our eyes to the opportunities that are there. Another reason to leave Las Vegas, a new date and new city for its marquee event, away from its main competitor, the National Finals Rodeo, which is historically held in Las Vegas a month later. Fans, uh, vendors, um, participants, others, it forced a lot of them to make a choice of, are we gonna go to the PBR World Finals or are we gonna go to the National Finals Rodeo? And we think at the end of the day and in the long term, establishing ourselves in Texas in May, is going to give fans an opportunity to enjoy both and not have to make a choice. Gleason denies this move was about money, but we can't ignore the economic impact, which extends well beyond tickets bought by the 83,000 attendees in 2019. From expos and events to hotels and hospitality, the LBCVA estimates the event's total economic impact on Las Vegas was nearly $60 million. Still, Gleason wants to stress even though the World Finals are leaving Las Vegas, PBR is not. We love the city of Las Vegas, and I don't think the PBR would even exist today if it were not for Las Vegas. And we hope that everybody will understand why we made this business decision, but know that we're trying to get back there and, and serve everybody. Now, the PBR World Finals will be held here in Las Vegas just one more time this year from November 3rd through the 7th. And Gleason couldn't really give me many details about what the new PBR events may be coming to Las Vegas in the future, but he did say we can expect an announcement on that front in the next couple of months. Live in the studio, Ross DiMatteo, 13 Action News.